All right, so today's figure we got is the latest addition to the Tight Mood Racing line of figures by Stronger, John, and Mordred. Now I say latest edition because there's been three other prior Tight Mood Racing figures by Stronger. For those not in the know, we have Arturia, Nero, and Rin, which I would actually bring over here because they're sitting right over there, but clearly I did not get set up for this video. But first, an unboxing. So the box itself is relatively big. It has a nice red racing aesthetic going on with the silver text, the red checkered patterns, you know the deal. Now inside the box, you don't really get a lot of stuff. You literally just get the two girls, which by the way, they look fantastic. And underneath the main blister, you got the other parts for the base. Speaking of the base, here it is. It's not really that fancy or anything. It's just like a big plastic circle. So it isn't as unique as the previous Type Moon Racing figures. Granted, those, all three of those figures uh, are kind of be meant to be unified. So they have kind of odd shapes. Like if you only got Arturia, you literally just have like a triangle that's like gold and has like part of like a horse missing from the base, which is very weird, which is why all three of those kind of combine together to make a unique base. But these two come together. Uh, it's not really any fancy base or anything. It's literally just a plastic big white circle, but they did add a couple of things to make it stand out a little bit. So you got the two command spells, which look dope and the red racing checkered pattern going on, plus the fate apocrypha text right there. So aside from the figure, you got one half of the pole for the flag. Then you got the actual flag. And you also get this little uh, support thing, which I'll talk about later. Now, assembly-wise, it is a relatively easy figure. You get some instructions, of course. It is relatively simple. You got two pegs on the figure, one for Mordred's foot, and the other one is for the flag. So after you put Mordred on, you literally just have to put one of the flag poles in John's hand, and then the other one with the big flag leaning down towards the other peg and you kind of just connect them together. Now, one thing to note is that on the base here, as you can see where the tip of the flag is on the pole here, you actually have to push this thing down. Otherwise the weight of the flag will tip to either side. So I didn't know that at first. I thought the pole just rested on the pole here. Did I just say the pole rested on the pole though? I thought the flag rested on the pole but it's supposed to be pushed in, so and that's it. Literally simple to put together. All right, before we get into the other details, I just wanna talk about the price for a second. The price for this figure is around 27,000 yen, which USD equivalent is around 250 USD Canadian, around almost 350 US, uh, Canadian, not USD. So it's definitely very expensive. Now, is this worth that price? that's mainly up to you. I mean, who wants to spend $350 on a plastic figure? This guy. Now you do get two characters out of the box instead of just one. So maybe that's why the price is a little bit more expensive. You can get it right now. I'm pretty sure it's still on, in stock on AmiAmi, Ami, but maybe you might want to get it pre-owned. You know, I don't know. There's probably a pre-owned one on the site already, which you can get for maybe like 25,000 yen if it's still up there. Last time I checked, there was one, but could be gone by now. Now the sculpt, for the figure is fantastic. Everything looks tip top shape. Nothing wrong going on with the facial expressions or anything, spot on. Outfits, I love the outfits. I mean, racing queen outfits. I mean, what can go wrong? Nice black red colors going around. The boots have a nice shiny finish to them. Their tops have a nice little touch of the Fate Apocrypha logo on them, which is pretty nice. Paint job is pretty spot on. Nice skin tones, good red aesthetic. Hair is painted beautifully. No, no complaints from me. Now, the pose for this, it's fantastic. So you have Mordra just wrapping her arm around John at the waist, which is... And then you got John's right knee just piercing through between Mordred's legs. And then you have the other one that's, I wouldn't say wrapping around Mordred, but like, you know, she's, she, you know, she's, she's getting up in there. So yeah, pretty dynamic pose if you ask me. I mean, John's holding the flag because, you know, John. And then I guess Mordred's holding her, so... 
Because, you know, Mordred's got to hold something, and if Mordred doesn't have, like, her sword or anything, she's going to hold Jon, the next best thing, right? Also, might I add, Jon wearing thigh highs is great. The nice attention to detail. Just look at this. You can see the curves at the brim when they touch the skin. It's... Oof. So, yeah, overall, I have to say, a pretty good figure. The giant flag has a really decent amount of support for it. Unlike another figure I can name. <laughs> Oh, also another thing I forgot to mention this. I was going to talk about this later, but they added this little extra support for for John. Uh, but honestly, initially, at least right now, it doesn't really seem like it's doing anything because like like it has the shape to it that perfectly goes into underneath John's foot. And to be honest with you, it's pretty. As you can see right here, it's pretty. It's pretty loose, right? It's not going to be doing much if you put it on there. So honestly, you could probably display it without this, but if it does, if John does start to kind of lean a little bit to a side, maybe use it. There is one thing I don't like about it is the fact that like it's literally on the edge of the base here. So I don't really like that, but yeah. Nice to include. Doesn't look like it's going to be used much though, but I don't know. We'll see in the future. Also, oh, one also thing I forgot to mention, shipping. You could get custom charged if you do order this. At least I did anyways. I live in Canada. I got custom charged for this package. It was about 30 bucks. So uh, be be careful about that. I don't know where you live, but you could get custom charged for this. Ooh, but yeah, they look pretty good. Speaking of Type Moon racing figures though, I think Good Small is actually coming out with their own Type Moon racing line of stuff. So you got, uh, I believe the latest one that's coming out is Arturia lily or saber lily as most people know she's coming out i believe april of next year her outfit is a little less race queeny if that makes sense you also got another type moon racing figure coming out by stronger again but with john and alstalfo and john is also wearing thigh highs there which i was tempted to order it i didn't actually pre-order it myself pre-orders are closed now i think it comes out next year february i didn't order it because to be Perfectly honest with you, I don't really see myself owning an Astolfo figure. But uh, looking at the pictures now, I kind of I kind of want it. I don't think I'll actually border myself though. Oh yeah, there's also the Prisma Ilya racing figures as well. Uh, not gonna be ordering those anytime soon. <laughs> you can also order a little figure figurine of a car of the Type Moon racing car. I think that they have a couple of different designs, but they all come in different various sizes. So the the most expensive one, I believe, is a one eighteenth scale, which I don't know how exactly big that is, but that's around twenty four thousand yen or something like that. Crazy expensive. I don't think I'd spend that much on a figurine of a car, but it is Type Moon, and it would look nice with the other figures i oh my god do i want to spend that much think about a i could get like a lens or something man i'll pick that up if opportunity rises and i have some extra funds or something i don't know but yeah that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did feel free to hit the like button because that's what it's there for and i will catch you guys in the next video peace huge thanks to my patrons seswat beast cat weiss malhat ralku Kitsuchan, Protectoka, Obsessed Shadow, Tiso, Satsui, and Zexi. If you like the content and feel like helping out, consider checking out the Patreon page. Thanks. Mini car, 24,000 yen. It's like 300 bucks Canadian, man. I don't know, man. This, this doesn't sit right with me, man.